Daddy Sussex. Absolutely. This person says if you have to shrink yourself for others to shine is a big is a biggest betrayal to self. That's even you know, y'all can read. But I completely agree. I mean, can you imagine coming in to that family over there? Okay, cool. First off, Daddy Sussex really kind of doesn't teach you about the protocol. So you've got to kind of learn this all on your own. Keep up with me here. I'm not trashing Daddy Sussex, but these are facts. So then you come in, you start to do pretty good. I mean, the queen is kind of rocking with you. She likes your work ethic, okay? You're going on stuff with the queen. You and your husband are traveling around the world. Y'all are bringing in crowds like y'all are mother die. Okay, then all of a sudden the narrative starts to change. Information is being fed to the press by your husband's family. Okay, and they're all lies tarnishing you. Then you've got the British media pouncing like there's no tomorrow and tearing your name to shreds. Whole time, not you nor your husband can say a word. I, when I tell you I cannot stand, never complain, never explain, it's archaic, it needs to go. Okay? Then on top of that, you've got people talking about your race. You've got your trifling ass daddy, Mr. Thomas Fake a Heart Attack Marco Sr., your scamming ass sister, Scammy Sammy, and your black face wearing brother on national television trashing the hell out of you, okay? And you've got to do this all while pregnant. You've asked for help. None is given. Your man has asked for the attacks to stop. None was given. Nothing was done. Nobody says a word. But then you start to notice, or you've been noticing this entire time, that your sister-in-law is given all the grace in the world, all the privacy in the world. She's asked for stuff to stop. Hell, her husband said, uh-uh, y'all not going to do my wife like that. And all negative coverage of her damn near stops. And you're doing this all while pregnant with your first child. I see why mother had them thoughts. Oh, and then on top of that, don't forget, she had to, people were calling for her to prove that she even had those thoughts or she had been having mental health issues. <laughs> it was definitely leading to that place. Them leaving was a different trajected them in a whole different direction when i tell you i'm so glad they left they've been looking well refreshed and shining ever since they left and thriving since they left contrary to what them fools like to say they've been thriving the whole time since they left and they can't stand that they want them looking pitiful miserable and groveling back to the uk looking like they need help. They don't need no help. And that's what they can't stand the most. Y'all have a good day. You know, after watching that video of mother speaking Spanish, it really just genuinely hit me. And I mean, we already knew mother was, had made a name for herself before she ever entered that family. But when I say mother was absolutely right, she had to turn herself down, her smart ass self down. That mediocre ass family over there. Because they could never. I mean, mother is fluent in at least what I believe three languages, y'all. Like, could you imagine having to tone yourself down? And everything that you do, because you outshine that family and those people over there in every way possible. Like, the Thoughts that could have been, no, the thoughts that were going through her head to have to not be yourself because just being yourself outshines your husband's family on your worst day. Oh my, girl, girl, I'm so glad you got out and are able to get back to yourself. 
let an elevate your man like harry no he got the prize she didn't get the prize he got the prize she been elevating that man ever since they met oh God. preach where my church finger church finger Whew. i'm so glad you got out mother because your, your, your star is too bright for them over there. And baby, you and your husband been shining bright ever since y'all got out. Y'all have a good damn day. Hola. <laughs>